Welcome into sports everyone. I'm sports director Matt Dowell. The South Carolina women's basketball team back at Colonial Life Arena today for the first time in 2024. The SEC home opener for the top ranked Gamecocks welcoming 11 and 3 Mississippi State to town and this game South Carolina saying not meeting their standards falling behind to the Bulldogs early as a three from the corner helped put the visitors ahead 15 to 10 halfway through the opening quarter took seven minutes for South Carolina to even try a look from three and Bree Hall making the most of it. The team's lone three of the first quarter, giving the Gamecocks their first lead since the opening basket of 21-19. And less than 30 seconds later, Tahina Pow Pow with a big steal and finish on the other side to force a Bulldog timeout. Gamecocks up by five after one. But sloppy struggles all night in this one, despite South Carolina taking the lead to double digits in the second quarter. Gamecocks 11 turnovers and an abysmal day around the rim, helping the Bulldogs stay around. But late third quarter, Quarter, Bree Hall cements herself as the bright spot of the game for South Carolina as she knocks down back to back triples to secure the win. Hall finishing with a team high 15 points on six of nine shooting. South Carolina stays unbeaten with an 85 to 66 win, but struggles, especially in the paint, leaving much to be improved on for the Gamecocks. Our Matt Vereen has more from Colonial Life Arena. Another day, another win for top-ranked undefeated South Carolina women's basketball as the Gamecocks topped Mississippi State 85-66 here in the SEC home opener. But according to the team, this one not meeting their standards. Plenty of statistical categories showing that, none probably more than going 14-34 on layups. Head coach Don Staley saying afterward, we'd have to turn the cameras off to get her uncensored speech to the team. But at the end of the day, they did enough to get the win, but not enough, according to her, to accomplish the goals they want this season. We did enough to win a basketball game, but probably not enough to uh, win this league. Um, I, I think we just played a, a, we played undisciplined and uncharacteristically, just um, on both sides of the basketball. So that you know that's disheartening um, because we've worked really hard. They'll get back. It's, it's our job to make sure they get back. Um, it's, how, it's how quickly. It wasn't our normal post-game talk. It was a little bit deeper than, than the normal. Just knowing that we do have, like I said, like you said, a new team and new, like all new chemistry and stuff like that. But, I mean, we, like I said, we all came in with high expectations and we all should be meeting them. Yep, we definitely were saying we did not meet the standards today and, and we will meet them the next game immediately. As Hall said, they're the team wanting to correct these mistakes immediately and get back to meeting that standard. Gamecocks will get that first chance to do just that in a trip to the other Columbia this Thursday to take on the Missouri Tigers. Reporting from Colonial Life Arena, Matt Vereen, Watch Fox Sports. Tip off for South Carolina at Missouri is this Thursday at 8 p.m. South Carolina's third game of this SEC season. That's going to do it for sports, everyone. The news at 10 is coming back right after this.